hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel for uh, this uh, tutorial I am going to show you how to knit the socks okay I have two inside of each other and I do have a tutorial on how to knit this in uh, best detail so I will link it I will pin it and I do have a tutorial on how to knit this part okay just to give you that info so let's get started I'm not gonna go over knitting the cuff so I already knitted I cast on total of 60 stitches and I knitted seven rows and I did that uh, method yarn over knit two together and knitted another seven rows and then picked up stitches at the beginning and then ta-da just fantastic so about the yarn, this yarn is $12.99. I think it's discontinued yarn. It was on sale uh, for $7.99, I believe. So I bought, there were only two of this color, so I bought the two. And this is the lot number. You can't find it by this, unfortunately, by this. And uh, I tried to look for more colors, but they don't have it. It looks like it's discontinued. And uh, the price is pretty high. Okay, it's called Lang he uh, Cashmerino for babies and more. It's super soft. It's so gentle. And I said this would be perfect for socks. Cause, because it has 55% merino, extra fine wool, 33% acrylic. That's the main thing we need on socks. You know, so it can last forever. I hope so and then 12 percent cashmere it does have high percent of cashmere so that's a great uh, deal i think so okay i am going to show you the uh, diagram the chart that i have drawn uh you can do a screenshot if you want this is what i'm following up and i will pin the video so you can uh follow it or I don't know you can follow it by this tutorial okay so I cast on total of 60 stitches that is my um for my feet okay that's the number for my feet the yarn is I would say a light three and the suggestion is three or three and a half millimeter knitting needle but being socks I'm knitting with two and a half millimeter Addy I believe these are turbo I bought it years and years ago and um, yeah okay so uh, after doing the cuff area I will pin the tutorial I'm not gonna go over it so now we're gonna work on the heel so I am leaving 31 stitches for the lace pattern, the leaf, le uh, leaf, a uh, bottle, a uh, bottle, bobble stitch, uh, lace pattern. And then the 29, I'm going to be working on the heel. Okay. So to do that, uh, this is the right side of the work. So on the wrong side, I am just gonna do pearl doesn't matter how you started you can start from the front but I already have 31 stitches here and I am just gonna start knitting the heel okay I said it wrong this is 29 stitches so I'm gonna start from the right side of the work the first is a knit stitch Knit as if to knit, but slide it, but don't knit. Knit, and then repeat it. Slide, knit, slide, knit. Till the end of the row. Knit. 
slide and then knit okay so I'm gonna turn my work in the wrong side is just pearl we're gonna do the heel back and forth not in around so the first I don't knit and I knit all of the stitches that I see a pearl all of the stitches that I see so I am going to knit this a uh, 16 times this repeat 16 times so 16 that would be 32 rows i believe back and forth so uh when you come back we're going to count these v's so we should have total of uh total of uh 16 or 17 because we did the knit and 16 you should have total of 16 of these v's Okay, so I'm going to let you knit, because if I show you every step, this will take forever, and I don't want you to get bored. This is what we're doing, just... Yeah, uh, if you notice, I am uh, fixing the stitches as I'm knitting, because this one I didn't knit, but when I put it as if to knit, the stitch is... If I knit it the way I see it, then it would be twisted, and I don't want that twist look. Okay. See what I mean? It's nice and knit stitches. So I am going to repeat this, and uh, I will come back to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I've been knitting, and when I count, there's only six. And this is how it looks like so far. The texture. And this is the back. So I need to knit ten more to have a total of sixteen. So that would be perfect for my heel. Just like this. And then we're going to do the heel area. So this is the back, actually. I say at the heel. So this is the part. And then we knit, knit, knit. The rest is easy. As soon as we finish this part, we're going to start doing the lace. Okay, so I'm going to continue knitting. And I'll be right back. I've been knitting, knitting, knitting. This is going to take a while because I am starting on the third leaf and uh, it's just when I put it on, it's just under my heel here, if you look at it. So I still need to knit, knit, knit like this much so I can start knitting this part of the sock. See this part of the sock. So um, just wanted to show you. So I just finished uh, knitting, I knit this, knit this part, the third, I'm starting on the third right here. Okay, so I don't know how many more I'm going to be knitting. I think this yarn is thinner, I don't know, but that's what it looks like because this one wasn't I thought this one was thin. So I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. And I am going to continue to knit. As uh, it's really soft. Because there's 12% uh, cashmere in it. Right? So I just wanted to share how it looks. It's a little bit tough to show. But here it is. <laughs> when you look at it from here, there's nothing, right? But we did knit this part. So there's a lot of work done on this heel area. And now I'm just, I finished doing, I might get rid of two more stitches at the moment. Uh, there's 31 here and 31 here. So two more stitches if I can get rid of and I'll be done getting rid of the decrease. And uh, 
yeah. Okay, I will continue knitting. Talk to you soon. Okay, so I have knit. This is how it looks like. And this is the wrong side, how it looks like. Okay, so what we were, we knit the last row on the front and then we turn our back. So on the wrong side, we're going to knit a total of 40. So I have 30 here. I'm sorry, 29 here. So I am going to knit a total of 14 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, here you can put a marker. From here, we're going to knit two stitches. And then we're going to knit two stitches to to together. Grab the two stitches. This one, fix it because it's twisted. Knit two together. And knit the last stitch purlwise. So turn your work. And this is how it looks like okay so from here from here I don't knit this stitch because I don't want the height so including that two three four knit and then knit these stitches together facing towards your right and then knit the last stitch okay Six, nine, ten, eleven. Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's okay, nothing to worry about. Can we turn our work? I turn my work and I continue knitting the wrong side, which I don't knit the first. Knit, 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 knit. When I come here, there's a huge gap. So I'm going to knit these stitches together, but I need to um, turn this. I, you don't have to turn it, but I turn it because I don't want the stitch to twist. And I knit these two together. And then I knit this one and I turn my work. And I repeat, slide, one, well, actually three four five six and when you see the gap you knit these two together and then you knit this last one and then you turn until we finish all of these stitches at the end if one one is left or that nothing to worry about so knit 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 And knit, knit this knit this two together and then knit the last one turn my work and then automatically you will see that V that V that we are creating right here okay Knit two together and then knit one more and turn your work. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just repeating over and over. As soon as I see the gap, see, I pick this, this stitch and I pick one from the other side and I knit them two together. And I knit another stitch and I turn my work. Okay, this is how it looks like.
put these two together and turn my work. Grab the stitch from the other side and then knit two together and then knit, then turn. We're almost done. See, there's no gap, nothing. Just love it, love it, love it. and then okay something happened here it looks like fix that when I didn't knit that stitch uh, it looks like I made a yarn over that happens you can fix that knit that one more stitch and turn your work so I have two here and three here. Okay, I'm going to knit them and I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you this part here. What I did. Let me get it. So it's clear enough. Okay, so I knit two together and I have one stitch at the end here. So I am going to just knit that because I have three here I need to knit this last row okay and it looks like I did a yarn over instead of knitting so I will fix that it happens when I'm knitting fast uh, that will happen okay so this is the last row and you finish it on the right side Okay, here, see, I was knitting it so fast, I forgot to knit that stitch. So fix that. And knit. That, that will happen. Especially when I'm watching a scary movie. <laughs> I get so nervous. I get so excited. I do that a lot. Okay, so here's the gap. I knit a stitch. Two stitches together. And I knit this one. So I have one stitch. Nothing to worry about. Let knit that one. And we're done. Okay. We're done the heel. Now we're going to pick up stitches from here. Okay. So it should be 16 plus. It depends on this part that we already knitted. So we're going to pick up stitches. Okay. To do that, I need to move my needle. Okay. Just like this. And... Here we go. So you can go between. See these V's? But I go one uh, loop inside. So three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I said it, it, it can be 16 plus, 15, right? It's 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, 15, so 16, 
17 yeah it's usually 18 but there's a gap here so i need to close that gap so i pick the 18th and what i do is uh crochet hook is the best so what i do is i grab one from here and one from there and i close that gap so I have 90. Okay. And I'm going to put a marker there because I'm going to start doing my decreases uh, where the uh, last stitch is. Right here. Okay, so we're going to start knitting the lace stitch on this 31 stitches which I showed you the diagram. I would highly, highly recommend you to screenshot it if you know how to read a diagram. If you don't, I will put the link on the, uh, the lace bobble leaf stitch. But this is how we started, okay? Uh, I will try to show it, but if you want more details, I would highly recommend you to go to that video. But I'm going to show it to you again. So the first is a knit stitch, which I knit yarn over, and then we're going to knit five stitches. Three, four, five, and then knit two together. But I want it to slant towards my left. I'm sorry. Yes. What am I doing? I forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot to get rid of, uh, yeah, I forgot to knit two together after the yarn over. Okay, so knit one. Let's start all over. Knit one, yarn over, knit two together, slanting towards my, uh, the stitch left side, towards the left side, and then knit five. That's what I got confused. four five and then knit two together slanting towards the right okay and then yarn over knit one yarn over and then we repeat it knit two together two three four five Knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, and then knit two together. Yarn over and knit the last one. So that's the 31, 31st, 31 stitch. Okay, so we're going to pick up stitches again. Uh, there's 19, so it has to be symmetric. Same on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put a marker here, and that's when I do my decrease again. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you on the other sock, so you will get the idea when I say do my decrease don't get confused it's this part that we're going to do the decrease see it's this part this line so this is the decrease so we get rid of these stitches here so we should have uh, i believe 28 or some stitches here on the bottom of the sock. I believe 28. I'm not quite sure. It can be 30 as well. Uh, 29. I started with 29, so 28 is okay, I believe. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. But the cuff is 60. That's how I cast on. 
Okay, so I'm going to pick up stitches and I'm going to use the same method to do that. I'm going to grab the same loop from here so I can close that gap. It's like sewing, but nicer and cleaner. <laughs> so one. You can see the V's here. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Got tangled here. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Got eighteen. One stitch less. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. So there's one stitch extra here, so we need to get rid of that one as well. Okay, so we're going to knit all the way around. Uh, I'm going to start doing my decrease when I do the stitch pattern, the lace pattern. Okay, I'll just show it to you. So I just do my regular knit. So when the lace pattern, when we're knitting the lace pattern, we knit the lace pattern one row and the next row is just knit. So for this row, we're just going to knit. We're not going to do any uh, yarn over or knit two together just going to do one row knit one row knit pattern and then one row uh, knit so when I'm doing the knit pattern that's when I'm going to start doing the decrease and we will start from here a little bit tough to knit too many stitches and uh, I don't like I like working with circular needle because this bends right the DPNs don't do that and when when you get used to knitting with these circular needles it's it's hard to go back knitting with them so I did order those sock yarns and the third three needles. So I, I can't wait for them to arrive. So I will do an unboxing and I will do a demonstration. And I will start a socks with you guys and see how that works. And I'll give you my feedback. It's not a brand name I ordered. It's a new name. Uh, no name. Okay, so wait for that. I'm just going to knit this. I'm not going to do anything. You know what, I can get rid of one stitch while I'm at it. Let's do it that way so I don't have to. Yeah, let's do it that way. So I'll get rid of this stitch. And then I will have 18. Okay, oops. Put that back. So I know that this is uh, just before I come here, I do my decrease. Okay, so this row is just knit stitch. Okay, so I will come, I will knit all the way around. I don't do nothing here. Just knit, knit, knit all the way around. So when I come back here, I will show you how to do the uh, third row. So this is the second row I'm knitting, which is just knit stitch. And when I come to the third row, I will show you.
Okay, so I have knit around and I am going to do my decrease. Knit two together. So I'm going to uh, knit these two together. Just like this, facing my right hand. And then slide this and I'm going to start the stitch, which is one knit, yarn over one knit knit two together but it has to face my left so uh, i'm not gonna go over this because i already did a tutorial you can go and check it out so when i knit two together i'll just knit two together so i'm gonna knit one two three knit two together and then knit one yarn over knit one yarn over knit one Knit two together, knit one, two, three, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, knit two together. Knit one, two, three, knit two together, yarn over, oh, I'm sorry, knit one, yarn over, and knit the last one. Okay, so I am going to do a decrease here. A little bit tough here. Okay, I'm gonna move these a little bit and my yarn. Okay, so uh, a little bit and my marker just flew over there. So I am going to slide, slide and knit two together okay and then i'm just gonna knit around so i will knit this knit row i will knit finish this row and i will knit the next row the knit row and i will come and on the fifth row i will show you okay so i have finished now i'm almost uh, well i need to knit these two together I put the marker here so I know that I need to get rid of that stitch. So I am going to start row five. Which is, and then you can see the leaves are becoming, see? Yeah, it's better to <laughs> knit on a solid color because <laughs> the hat that I did the tutorial, it's really hard to see. I just did the tutorial yesterday on this uh, hat, how to knit it. And um, yeah, it's really hard to see the leaves, unfortunately. So I would highly recommend with a, the yarn kind of tricked me. Yeah, the yarn looked... That it would work but no it didn't okay so let's knit one stitch yarn over knit two together uh, knit two stitches and then knit two together knit one knit two together Knit one, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, 
knit one, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, knit two, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, It's a little bit tight here at the end. Knit one. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened here because the way I'm pulling. Here we go. So, yeah, knit one, knit two. Yarn over, and where's the other stitch? Just looking. Looks like I lost one of the stitches here. Because there's supposed to be a yarn over there. Yeah, it's no problem. We can fix that. That happens, especially when you're doing the last stitches. That's nothing to worry about. So what we do is go back. Here is supposed to be a yarn over. Okay, so we knit two together. Okay, there's supposed to be. Knit one, and then there's supposed to be a yarn over right here somewhere. I'll just do it this way nothing to worry about and I do a yarn over and then we knit this last stitch okay and then we knit here what we do is pull this yeah when we're doing the pulling the the, the stitches get tight and uh Things happen okay here we're going to knit two together to do that just like this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to knit all the way around and uh, knit one row knit row and then when i come back we will start on row seven and this is how it looks like it is really soft i just want to point out cashmere because it has cashmere in it knit two together knit one Yarn over, knit three stitches. Okay, here uh, on the tutorial that I'm going to pin, I do show you two different ways to knit these three stitches, but this is what I, I would prefer. I prefer I knit the two stitches together. So I need to get rid of the two stitches. And this is happens when I'm doing a tutorial. <laughs> okay. Okay, the yarn split and everything happens. Okay, so knit two together, put it back, and then put this on top, and I get rid of two stitches. And I put this needle back and I continue knitting the stitch, the pattern, which is knit one two three yarn over knit one yarn over knit three and i repeat what i just did knit the two stitch put it back on the needle and get this over on top and then get rid of one stitch so again knit one two three yarn over knit one Yarn over, knit one, two, 
three. Knit two together. Put it back, slide it on top. Ta-da. Knit one. Two. Three. Yarn over and knit that last stitch. Okay, we're done. So I am going to continue knitting, but before that I need to get rid of uh, one stitch there. On the next... Yeah, don't forget that. That's why I wanted to do it on the pattern stitch, so I won't forget the... Okay, so I will knit, uh, finish this row, and start the knit row, and I will come back to show you the ninth row, and we're going to do bobbles. So grab your crochet hook, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know this is really fun to work with, and I totally forgot, and I started the stitch. So row seven, knit one, yarn over Oh, on uh, row nine, actually. It's row nine. So knit three, one, two, three. And then knit two together right here. Okay. Yarn over. So we're making a new leaf. Yeah, I'm not going to go over it because I already went over... <sighs> A long tutorial so uh yeah I would highly recommend you to go and watch that one because I'm explaining everything <laughs> okay so uh here is the leaf so we're going to um, knit two together I wish I could then the video would be over an hour and uh, you don't want to watch that long tutorial so knit one knit two and then we're going to make the bobble stitch right there popcorn stitch whichever you like to call that uh, so here we go so I hold hold it like this it's a little bit big it's okay so chain two yarn over pull the first loop the second loop and then leave the two again I only do it twice because we don't want a huge bobble on the sock so repeat and then leave pull the three together and then I go and grab from the back and I explain why I'm doing that so pull chain one and put it back on the needle okay and then we're going to knit two and then knit two together yarn over knit one yarn over knit two together knit one knit two and then make a bobble stitch on top of the middle here chain two Yarn over, pull one, pull two, leave the two, yarn over, pull one, pull two, and then pull the three loops, and grab it from the back, that one of the loops there, and then make a slip stitch and put the stitch back on the needle. Okay, and then chain two. So we're starting a new leaf if you look at the stitch we're starting a new leaf and uh so actually we're doing this part right here but the leaves are at the end of this tip that pyramid that we're making so knit one knit two knit two together Knit three, yarn 
Oh, I forgot. Knit three, but I need, 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 need to knit. I forgot to do a yarn over here. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then knit two together. And then knit the last three stitches. Okay. So, um, what I just showed you, you repeat this over and over. And then, uh, again, I'm going to pin the tutorial. And then I will come back when I finish. Uh, well, I continue doing my uh, decreases here. So, I'm going to knit... And then I'm going to finish my 18 stitches. I'm trying to get rid of them. So this is going to, this line is going to go down like this. Just like this right here. And then what I'll do is I will come back and I'll show you how it looks like. Because it's right here. And then you just knit the length of your foot. You measure your foot, like uh, mine is a 12, so I have to knit long. But um, if you're a small, I don't think you need to look, knit that long. So uh, I will come back to show you, and I will do my decrease, but because this is going to take forever. <laughs> and I will come back to show you how it looks like. And then what we'll do is I will show you the closing up here. And uh, that's all we do yeah okay so i will be right back okay so i've been knitting and i'm at the point that i'm going to do the decrease for the toe area and i put it on my feet and it fits perfect okay it's a yeah it does stretch a lot so i don't want it long than it should be i already put it on my feet and it's perfect okay so i just wanted to show you how it looks like on the blocker and when I remove this, this is how it looks like. So I ended up making, if you count it from here, one, two, three, four. If you count it from here with the second leaf, one, two, three. Okay, I did not make the four, uh, three, and then I made the fourth one. And after making the fourth one on that last bobble stitch, I did do the decreases here so I had uh, done the decreases I didn't do the yarn over because I, I just wanted to finish it up so I did the decreases as to uh, right here to create that leaf look right here and after that I knit about uh, six rows just straight nothing else no de no decrease so I am gonna come and start doing the toe area uh, I had to do this on half for you guys to see or else uh, it's really hard to bend the needle okay so I'm just knitting and I am coming to the point where I'm going to start doing my decrease and we're going I'm going to finish the sock it's super fun It's that you need to make another one on the same, same, same stitches, same everything. It has to be identical to fit. Okay, so we're going to start doing our decrease on the toe area. So I'm going to knit one. I'm going to slide, slide, knit together. And then knit all the way to the end until we receive get to the three stitches so this is the top of the sock Okay, knit these two together. And 
and then knit the last one okay so we're done the front now the bottom is going to be the same knit the first stitch slide slide knit two together okay don't forget the same stitches uh, I think I had 28 here and 28 here so it has to be the same and then I'm going to repeat knitting all the way to the end till I have a total of three stitches So one row is going to be a decrease and uh, the other row is just going to be a knit stitch. So I'm going to knit two together and the last stitch I'm just going to knit. Turn my work and this row is just going to be knit stitch and when I come back here I'm going to do the decrease until I have I would say 12 stitches. or 10 it depends on how how we want it so knit one and slide slide knit two together okay and then repeat this over and over so i'm going to knit until i have 12 stitches and i'm just going to look how it looks and i will try it on my foot to see how it looks on it if I like the 12 stitches I will finish it up if I don't I will do 10 stitches okay so uh usually it's done 10 stitches but uh I just need to see because the yarn is a little bit thin so I'll be right back okay so I've been knitting knitting doing my decrease I have 19 stitches at the moment and this is how it looks like it gives you this nice round when we're doing the decrease so one row knit one row decrease and this is how it looks like it's magical isn't it i was thinking of buying a sock machine yarn but you i don't know they're so expensive i said to myself nah i could buy yarn <laughs> <laughs> right well that's another thing yarn is expensive and uh yeah so I'll save up my money if i need to buy yarn i will buy yarn okay i just wanted to show you and this is the decrease row see this is how it looks like so don't forget the first stitch is a knit stitch and then slide slide see it depends uh, how you want it to slant right so i want to slant it towards this side so that's why i do it and when i'm doing this i just knit two together okay so i will continue knitting i just wanted to give you guys some feedback just knit 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 and this yarn is just gorgeous to work with I just have a little bit left of the 50 gram so um, yeah so I will be having well my feet are big tall like long they're long and I do have problems with the heel so that's another thing and it grew another I would say two inches <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna continue knitting and i'll be right back okay so this is how much tiny bit of yarn i have left not too much so i'm gonna go with 12 stitches because i don't want it to be very pointy right so it's a little bit hard to do this in half just wanted to show you 
Okay, this is how it looks like. And I think 12 is good for this uh, yarn. I don't want it pointy. So what I'm going to do is I am going to close it up. And then we'll go from there. Okay, to do that, I need to cut my yarn. And this is how it looks like when you stand it up. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Okay, so I made it into a tiny little ball. And this is only left. So this is the only left. So I do have another 50 gram of yarn. And I'm going to be knitting the other sock with that yarn. So I'm just going to grab a, grab a tapestry needle. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, the first stitch, so there's two symmetric 12 here, 12 here. Okay, so I am going to grab the first stitch. This stitch as if to knit, as if to knit, and then pull it, and then let this go. And kindly, gently tuck it a little bit. And let me just push this back again. I don't want to lose any more any stitches. And then the same the second stitch is if the pearl. Grab it like this and leave that stitch there. Okay. So we're gonna go to the back as if to pearl again. It's a little bit tricky, but this is how you do it. And then you let this go. Okay. Okay, so the next stitch is the the other the back, the bottom of the is going to be as if to knit. And you just let that stitch sit there. Okay, and then we come back here. We come back here as if to knit. And then we pull that. And then we let that go. Okay. And then we come back here and we, we repeat what we did. So we, as if to purl. Put a little bit, and then go back as if to purl. And then we let that stitch go. Okay, so we let this go. And then we do on the back, we do it knit wise. And we leave that one. And then we come to the front and we do it knit wise. And then we let that st stitch go. So every time we do knit wise on the front, we let it go and then try to pull it. Yeah, this one I didn't pull it well. Yeah, try to pull it and then it will fix itself. Oh, see? It will fix itself. Okay, so I'm going to come to this fellow as if to purl. And then go back as if to purl. Let this one stay there. And then I let this go. So it's two step. And then I go to the back and I... The stitch around as if to knit and I let that stay and when I come back here I do it as if to knit and I let it go but try to pull that see it's magical and then I come to this stitch as if to purl and I let it stay 
See, we do two steps. And then I come back. Remember, we did the net knit wise. Now we're doing it as if to purl. And then I let it go. Okay, and then try to pull that so it's nice and tight. And then I come here as if to knit. Oh, oh, oh I forgot. I forgot. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> As if to, as if to knit. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll be right back. It happens. I was just doing it. What? And then you forget about. Okay. So <laughs> the next step is to go to the back as if to purl, and then let that go, and then come back to the second stitch on the back as if to knit. And let that st stay there and then come to the first one as if to knit and let that go. Okay. I hope I didn't make you confused. <laughs> and then you come back here to as if to purl and you just let it stay there. And then you go back here as if to purl, but you let it go. Okay. As if to knit. Let it stay. Then come back here as if to knit and let it go. So it has to be done two steps to give this look. As if to purl and go back to the back as if to purl and let that go and pull that tight. We want it nice and tight. <laughs> then go back as if to knit and then come back here as if to knit you will get the hang of it it just uh i was thinking of something else yeah okay and this is how it looks like and as if to purl then go to the back as if to purl let it go Can't do two things. Have to focus on only one thing. <laughs> and then come back here and let it go and pull it. Pearl. Go back to pearl. Oh. See what I did gonna let this go but the yarn is split so I'm just gonna grab that split ah, fixed and then let it go and pull it tight as if to see we have four here why would that happen it happens oops go between here pull and then Come to the first as if to knit and then pull. So now we have three. <laughs> and then let it and then come here to the back. Pull, let it go. Knit. Try not to split because this is the toe part, right? Grab everything and let that go and then pull it. See, pull it tight and then go to the back, make it as if to knit. and then come here as if to knit let that go okay and we're only left with one stitch try to pull this and look at it again 
Okay, this one is of the pearl. Okay, and this is the last one. This one is of the pearl, so I let that go. Okay, and then pull it. Okay, and I have this last one, so what I'm going to do is, is if to knit. If to knit and gently pull and we're done it's magical so put your hand in see it's done so I'm gonna poke my needle and I will weave this Lots of knots. Always keep the leftover yarn. If you have, if it wears off, you can always darn it. And I do have a tutorial on how I will darn my socks using the crochet technique. I learned it from my grandmother. She used to do it that way. She would even do it on fabrics. Yeah. And those last forever. You can darn your yarn or you can pick up stitches. I do have tutorials for that. Not for socks though, but you can use that method if you're picking up stitches and you can knit it up. So just weave it like this. And then cut your yarn. And you're done. See? So I will put it on the blocker to give you an idea how it looks like. First, I'll show it to you this way. It's fantastic. I'm going to put it on my Etsy shop to get people's look. Because this uh, kind of lacy sock I haven't seen it, so just wanted to get people's ideas. And I would like to hear from you. It's been a long tutorial. Uh, yeah, and this is how it looks like. So I hope you like this tutorial. I just love it, love it, the end result. Now I'm going to knit. See how nice and round it is? Love it, love it, love it. I used to make it pointy, but the more you knit socks, the better you will become. Okay, <laughs> just love it, love it. I would love to hear from you about these uh, lacy socks. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care and happy knitting. Bye-bye.